Welcome to my third part of the video from Mexico to Cancun. Um, today we're gonna go to Mesunta from San Cristobal and you will see the drive, the rides, and what a beautiful experience we had close to Mesunta. Good morning! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Next ride, he stopped um, with the kid in the car. Pretty nice that he takes us. So the guy dropped us in Zapotitlan and I'm gonna show you the view now from this little village here in the mountains, 2300 meter above the sea level. You have to walk 15 minutes to get to the houses and that's where we come from. Our ride in this huge truck. Much you guys to say, sir? So we made it to a little town in the middle of nowhere. It's amazing. It's just around, surrounded by mountains. We are in the center of the town. Here's the church. And we're gonna discover it now. Having a lunch break in San Mateo, San Mateo Rio de Hondo. Uh huh. So that's the view. And here's the church. They're praying at the moment. And here is Sandy. <laughs> it's done. It's so cool. Let's get some eggs. Tonight here in this bed in a private house and how we ended up here I'm going to tell you now. So yesterday we we left our luggage there in the it's like a little shop and then we thought oh it's a great view so we walked here this way and here on this fence and there was a guy like sitting and first team came on a chat with him so in the end we ended up that we could stay at his home um, he invited us so his mom is living here in this house and I want to show you like how they live now. So on this side there's like the area to wash the dishes and also like doing laundry and stuff. Um, so there's one toilet on this side. They're having a washing machine here and that's the bathroom basically. Um, you can shower there, they're going to warm up the, the water. So it works with electricity, they're having the toilet. You use it like with water, you take the bowl and um, put the water into the toilet to flush. So I want to show you the view also from their garden. That's amazing. So they showed us yesterday night a bakery, which is so great. The bakery was like built like a hundred years ago. All these roads here, they built like 20 years ago. So when they built the bakery and the, the wood oven, which was impressive, um, 
and there was no road, so they they brought the bread with donkeys to the customers um, up the hill, down the hill. There's the kitchen. I'm gonna show you some videos of that, um, and that's our room. This was a very nice evening for me, which expanded my memory treasure. We talked for a long time about our life, how things work in Europe, how it is in Mexico, and how it is in this little, small mountain village. We got a very authentic insight to their lives. I wish the family of Maria and Francisco all the best. That's the school, and we wanted to get in actually. Maria? I think Maria is not here. We're having our next mess car testing. We're going to be drunk. Vamos a estar ¿Tú te vas a tomar toda la botella? We're trying to get to the main road to get to the beach. Do you want to go to the beach? I want to go to the beach. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Tomaba mezcal. Tasting. <laughs> to go to this lady here. Oh, so that was our ride for the last three hours. Bye bye, she's a beautiful lady. She took us and she's nearly killing me. Ah, she made it. Bye bye, all the best for you. To the destination where we want to go. It's like 25 minutes. We just arrived on the beach from Asunta on the Pacific coast of Oaxaca and it's so boiling warm. It's so warm, it was so nice in the mountains. <laughs> Good morning! We are in Punta Camuita in Masunte in Oaxaca in Mexico and we found a great spot for camping. It's directly on the beach. It's amazing. It was great. Here's no one. We could leave our luggage upstairs in the in the bush. I think no one will find it. It's 7 in the morning and we just woke up and I'm thinking I'm going for a morning swim. Pussy is already there and um, yeah, it was super warm tonight, so I guess it's like in the night it's about like 25 degrees still during the day, over 30. So it's really, really warm. It's like end of October, but it's how it is. And um, yeah, so I will go in the beach now, enjoy the Pacific water. That's the great view. And that's the place where we hide in our bags, like behind there, way up there. So hopefully no one will find it. Next ride, we got it! Uh -huh. Okay, let's get in! Hola! We arrived at Astetes' home. She's a lady. Um, and she took us home. It was our first ride at getting away from the city. And yeah! We're staying, home. We're staying here tonight. It's a place of Asenet and Jörg. They're getting a new roof, like a roof from palm trees, at least like for maybe 20 years, 25 years about. <laughs> so I'm going to the beach now. We have a private access to the beach. Look at that. It's amazing. Sometimes it's crazy how lucky we are. So there's one of the reasons why I love hitchhiking. So we got to this private beach where we can also stay tonight. We can shower there, we can live there. We're gonna cook with them tonight. We see the sunset. But the main reason is behind that, like in the morning, you don't know where you're gonna be in the night or in the afternoon. So it's so surprising. If you go to holidays, you already know where you wanna go. But if you go on hitchhiking, there's so many beautiful, wonderful surprises. They make the life remarkable. Why do you like hitchhiking? Because I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> so 
another reason is it's super cheap. You get around, you meet nice people. We already met so many great people that we have like friends. You have them in WhatsApp, you go with them to a bar, you see great places. And like the people in the car, they have better knowledge about the, the region because mostly they are from this region. So they give you tips, they let you know where to go. And then we usually go to these places uh, for air and cook with locals and um, get to know their life, um, which you could never book somewhere or find in the internet. You just have to meet local people to get to these places and to this information. That's our private beach. There's another person that's like also a nudity beach, maybe.